The Biden administration is getting criticized for allowing Chevron to pump more oil in Venezuela, but killing the Keystone pipeline on day one, costing thousands of jobs. Grady Trimble joins me now. Good morning to you, Grady. You have been talking to would-be Keystone workers, and I would imagine they're not very happy about this. Not happy at all, Ash, especially because they've been waiting more than a year and a half since President Biden promised uh, investing in green energy would create lots of new jobs. A key plank of our Build Back Better recovery plan is building a modern, resilient climate infrastructure and clean energy future that will create millions of good paying union jobs, not seven, eight, ten, twelve dollars an hour, but prevailing wage and benefits. But flash forward to now, and the reality is the fuel sector, including oil and gas, coal and biofuels, saw a drop of nearly 30,000 jobs from 2020 to 2021. So jobs in fossil fuels are declining. And the latest data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics found the green energy sector is projected to add, in their words, only a relatively small amount of new jobs over the next decade, just 26,000 of them. That has those Keystone Pipeline workers we talked to wondering, where are their green jobs? I've not heard anything about these so-called green jobs. Uh, Don't have a clue, I haven't been contacted, nothing about these green jobs. So for those workers, the decision to let Chevron start drilling for oil in Venezuela again, while seeming to discourage drilling for oil in the United States and building infrastructure like pipelines to transport oil and gas, it's just salt in the wound, Ash. Yeah, it certainly is. Grady, thank you very much. 